Hi everybody, it's me. Um, Mother's Day, Happy Mother's Day. Love you, Mom. Um, anyway, out here in the garage, um, trying to figure out how to get my tools set up in my new toolbox. So, anyway, I was just going to kind of run through how I've got them laid out in each drawer and kind of where I'm going and stuff like that. I, I kind of look at different people's YouTube channels and see how they, you know, do things. But I wanted to kind of show you what I got. Maybe I can get ideas or something like that. So. Um, the top, I've got, you know, I'm going to put my chargers for my cordless stuff. I've got breaker bars, um, things that won't fit in there. I've got long ways. I'm going to use this for kind of like my uh, Allen wrenches and maybe some multi-tip multi, multi -tip screwdriver set right here. This is what I call my tire drawer, you know, air pressure gauge, um, tire repair kit, plugs. Um, air pressure, uh, my impacts for my uh, lug nuts, stuff like that. So, um, next drawer, nut drivers. All I've got is standard nut drivers right near. I need to kind of fill in with some metric nut drivers. I find myself using a lot of those uh, in various areas on my boat and other little small things, maybe in the interior or something. So, um, next drawer, um, I've got all the sockets laid out from biggest. To smallest I think I need to I've got a, a couple of areas I need to fill in but I think that will do for now um, extensions and ratchets universal joints adapters and stuff like that I've got three ratchets right now um, I've had these um, before Katie and I got married they're Stanley they were made in Taiwan and I have to say these things have gone through it I mean I have used those things to you know, um, I replaced a 460 in an old truck, old F-150 I had. Um, so these things have really been good. Um, next drawer. Um, I haven't got all my wrenches laid out yet. I just threw them in there for right now. I'm going to kind of lay them from biggest to smallest SAE, biggest to smallest on my metric, see what gaps I might have. So I think I'm going to add a couple of ratcheting wrenches, the more common ones I use on drain plugs or various things like that of common sizes. Um, next is my screwdriver drawer. Flat heads on the bottom. Uh, Phillips. I got a multi uh, a multi screwdriver right here. I've got a little small screwdriver I got from GTE when I was doing some work. It's got a little level built in. And a split head screwdriver or a Monday morning is what we called them in the electrical field. You know. It was an adjustable thing and you could uh, work over your head, do different things, and it would hold the screw. So, next drawer, this is what I call my measuring electrical components. I've got a wiggy, multimeter, tape measure, level. I've got a little small AC tester right here I use. Soldering iron, square, another little angle square, uh, calipers, micrometers, laser, two stud finders. I've got an ODB code reader for my vehicles. Okay. Next drawer, hand tools. I got a couple items I want to kind of pick up. I want to pick up a good size, a good crescent. This is one of those cheap ones, you know, buy at Walmart, but it's got so much slop in it. I want to get me two good actual crescent wrenches uh, and stuff. So, next drawer. Bigger hand tools, pipe wrenches, files, um, punch, uh, tubing cutters, snips. Um, I think I was using this when I was helping a guy string some barbed wire. Um, oil filter wrench. Next. Um, this is kind of like my plumbing drawer, I want to kind of say. Scrapers. I've got a, a stapler, some staples, X-Acto knife, different you know scrapers with razor blades, plumbing tape, um, some little Vaseline for seals and stuff here, electrical tape, solder, uh, some um, soldering flux that is for taking out the drain in the bottom of the tub, um, torch tip, lighter, tubing cutter, stuff like that so that's kind of my drawer. Um, next is hammers got a lot of hammers these were actually my grandpa's these two right here for my grandpa's hammers um, I got from him 
I've got a couple small hammers, you know, I kind of collected for hanging picture frames people got and stuff like that. I want to say about the only two hammers else I need is probably a dead head and a brass hammer as I do work on a lot of firearms uh, and do stuff like that. So next drawer, this is kind of like my automotive drawer. I've got an air pressure thing here, different oil wrenches, some AC stuff. Um, I'm fixing to get um, a full set of gauges and a compression tester because I seem to be winding up more working on boat motors now uh, and helping various people do some checks on them before they buy them and stuff like that. So I'm going to put that in there. Next drawer, uh, cutting drill bits, Dremel tool, um, saws, masonry bits, hole saws, uh, multi-tool stuff, etc. Right. Next drawer, I've got my two cordless, I got an uh, impact drill, uh, cordless drill, and I've got my Husky air ratchet. I've got a couple other items I want. I want to put a smaller grinder in here, a cordless one, as I'm tired of dragging out my Dremel tool all the time to do stuff, so uh, that's that. Next drawer, I've got some of my other corded things down here. I've got a corded um, 3 8 drill, corded half, half inch drill, Dremel tool kit. This is a, a, a small kit I got when I was doing some work in uh, desktop support, changing out hard drives and stuff like that. So anyway, um, about the only thing left I need to do is all these Allen wrenches and multi tips and everything else I got to figure out how to way to put in here um, that's really about it um, getting closer hot today I think I'm going to probably try to maybe get another hour hour and a half I might head to Harbor Freight and use the 25% off coupon they've got today for Mother's Day anyway uh, thanks y'all for tuning in chat later bye